Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna be talking about the reason why I left my brainwashed country. Yeah, and um, obviously, you know, we're doing this with a different angle. As a matter of fact, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a walking and talking. We're just going out to the backyard so we can enjoy a little bit of uh, the, uh, the beautiful environment out there. Now, usually I take this guy right here, you know, this is my walking and talking uh, camera, but I figured, eh, I'm not going too far. So I put together my big camera so that I can uh, use that to film today. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get out there and uh, do some walking and talking. Yeah, by the way, this is uh, where Lambo loves to hang out, as you guys can see, you see? I know, I gotta wash that rag, this fucking guy. But anyways, all right, so let's get out there and let's, uh, let's do some walking and talking, right? Oh, let me get my sandals, cause it's hot out there. Got my feet, you know, uh, unprotected from the elements. Cause uh, walking outside is like a giant frying pan. It's, it's hot on the feet, my poor delicate feet. All right, so, uh, you know, just bear with me while the lighting kind of like uh, fixes itself so all right guys well today we're gonna just uh, be talking about the reason why I moved out here <laughs> actually let me reword that the reason why I left my brainwashed country literally um, now why am I making this episode today well the reason I'm making today's episode is basically because um, I was watching YouTube last night and I got suggested this one guy that was going through see that was just opening the fence there look at this got a little lime tree I gotta pick some limes before I forget look at this look how beautiful look at that but the biggest pair you've ever seen Ugh, this fucking guy anyways all right let's see uh will this work all right i think we got one we got the lighting situation kind of fixed here okay so you know in today's episode we're just going to be discussing exactly what i was just saying a little while ago <laughs> why i left you know my brainwashed country now you know there's a lot of countries out there that are extremely brainwashed but we're just going to focus on my country right now which is the ussa and why i left there now i remember when i used to live in the usa um i used to hear all the time from all kinds of um foreigners that used to go through there you know i'm um, literally saying telling me or you know just you know just saying that you know the typical american the typical person in the u.s is actually more brainwashed than um than someone in north korea now, even though I was always in my little conspiracy theory thing and, you know, all that good stuff, you know, for the most part, I really didn't believe that, you know, because it's like, you know, I'm an American living in America and it's like, you know, yeah, I know things are bad and awful and horrible and shit sucks from time to time, but there's no way in hell, no way in hell that, you know, we're more brainwashed. I'm, I'm hoping, uh, hoping you guys can still see me there. But anyways, there was no way in hell that we are more brainwashed than North Korea. But as I started going down the rabbit hole myself and I started waking up, you know, just like um, a lot of you guys are doing, you know, we, we quickly realized that, holy shit, you know, maybe I'm not as brainwashed as a typical North Korean, but man, everyone else around me sure as hell is. And, um, you know, that's why right now, as uh, we want to talk about anything, you know, whether it's, you know, politics or, you know, gay rights or women's rights or, you know, whatever it is. There's so many things that we want to be talking about. You know, there's always um, a lot of backlash. You know, there's always a lot of uh, censorship. There's always a lot of um, insanity. You know, so again, you know, for, for any, you know, for anyone out there that's my age, all right, at the very least, or, you know, around my age, you guys know them around five years ago, give or take, 10 years ago, you know, probably, you know, most likely like around five years ago, things were not the way they were, especially when it comes to like the whole censorship thing. It's um, definitely increased a lot. And for a lot of you guys out there that are a lot older than me, um, and uh, kind of grew up in the 90s and like, uh, I grew up in the 90s, but I mean, it, you guys were older during the 90s. You guys remember that during that time, you know, that was a time that we were also talking about a lot of these same things. And um, 
it was all about you know the revolution and changing things around and that our generation was the one that was going to fix everything and and blah 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 and in fact things were backwards you know in the sense that you know everyone was on the left you know and the people on the left were pushing for revolution and everyone on the right the conservatives you know were all pushing for censorship and pushing for uh you know all of the things that we have you know at the moment you know now things are backwards now it's the left that is pushing for a lot of those uh, censorship and um and all, all that insanity and uh, the right is the one that is um i guess just in a weird way you know almost um looking for 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 normalcy now again before i go too far and too deep into there this is what i'm talking about I, I you know just by me saying what i said there you know some some of you guys already automatically are you know condoning or putting me into like a, oh my god this guy is sticking up for the right or conservatives or anything like that and i'm like no 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 you know again you know the whole brainwashing aspect of, uh, of a lot of these things that's happening is the fact that we are as as a people as a society are not allowed to think freely anymore and not allowed to separate things you know um someone could be very very conservative and gun loving but at the same time be very very liberal and uh you know love gays and uh you know love uh human rights for people and shit like that you know things can you know things are not just one mutually things are not just mutually exclusive to one side or the other and that's a thing that we're moving into a very very dangerous world now i digress today's video you guys you know you clicked on it because of the title that i put on there which is the reason i left my brainwashed country and how you know this video really started to begin with it was basically because i you know, um, was watching a video yesterday of uh, some guy that travels the country. Um, I think he calls himself the bread man or something like that. But anyways, he outfitted a bread truck and he lives out of that bread truck and he travels the country. And uh, literally for whatever reason, the videos that I kept getting uh, suggested from him were times that he kept getting pulled over by cops for just driving. And then the interactions in which, you know, he um, you know, he recorded um, while he was uh, being pulled over by, you know, um, these this Blue Isis, okay? Because, by the way, in case you guys don't know, um, I had my situation with Blue Isis, and I am not a fan at all of uh, the, the, the police force and the police station. In fact, you know, um, to me, all cops are corrupt, all right? And I'm um, sure, we, I know that there's a, plenty of cops out there that are you know good and do good stuff and well-meaning and shit like that but for the most part you know every one of them is corrupt and everyone that becomes one or is part of that organization is very one thousand is, is extremely complicit in everything that's going on right now there's just absolutely no excuse and um you know i'm not one to choose sides or anything like that but we can you know obviously see what the hell's going on there uh, especially for those that study history you know everything um the power the insane power that these police officers have on our lives you know on 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 everything that we do on a daily basis is beyond insane and the fact that our lives can be changed like that our lives can be ruined like that over absolutely nothing just because uh, a, a, a a cop woke up on the wrong side of the bed and he wanted to pick on somebody random and bam you're it and um, all of a sudden your life is beyond turned upside down like it happened to me like it's happened to a bunch of you guys and um, the fact that we as a population you know just sit there idly and let this happen like it's all good and so things like that the controlling of the speech um, you know um, so many 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 more things you know like the ongoing wars you know the the destruction of the empire you know the fall of the dollar and so many 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 things but really the reality is is that i myself for many many years like a lot of you guys out there have been seeing the path that the united states of america is is uh following right now and it's literally i mean we're only a few years away from full-blown communism and i know i say these things and a lot of you guys and and, and you know watching this video are probably going to unsubscribe and downvote and leave comments below saying that i'm fucking nuts and crazy and and, and all this shit. but again you know don't blame me i'm just a messenger I'm just letting you guys know what, again, a lot of you guys already know what I'm talking about and a lot of you guys are still in denial, but it, you know, this is why I make all these videos and uh, you know, I, I started getting away from making all these videos. In fact, last week I even made a video 
um, saying, "Oh, a video update for my channel," and that was in a in a way saying, "I'm gonna make, make I'm, I'm probably gonna be making less of these and more about moving out here." But you know, literally after I made that, I wasn't happy with myself and I wasn't that satisfied with myself because, you know. I, I want to make travel videos. I want to be like Anthony Bourdain. And I want to be like a lot of these travel vloggers and shit like that. I'm doing it. I'm living that life and I'm going to continue doing that and I'm never going to stop doing that. But, you know, a good, you know, who, who I really am is, is this person you're seeing right now, which is just someone that speaks the truth. And, um, you know, in, in recent days, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I've, I've uh, in the recent weeks, I've been getting a lot of... Um, whether it's suggestions on YouTube or friends and family talking to me or other individuals like you guys out there reaching out to me and, and so on and so forth. It's made me realize that, man, you know, like um, as much as I want to make these travel videos and they're fun and great and, 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 and you know, and awesome and, 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 and very educational for you guys and they, they help me grow my channel, you know, the reality is is that, you know, th that's not really serving the public as much as other informational videos talking about the truth talking about you know whether it's Bitcoin or the the economy or Julian Assange or whatever the fuck it is I choose to talk about um, because as I as I'm you know realizing more and more each day a lot of you guys are still very new to this um, a lot of you guys are now just going down the rabbit hole a lot of you guys have been going down the rabbit hole but you know we're in a in a huge awakening where there's the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing where nobody believes that he's killed himself and everybody knows that he got suicided and and yet you know what I mean like we just still allow a lot of these things going to go on so you know, again, as each day passes, you know, I was watching uh, Jimmy Dore yesterday, I think. And I don't know when it was, but I was watching him and he, um, I forgot what he was saying, but he made a joke. And he was just talking about a bunch of stuff, but he made a joke and literally kind of just said something about, um, you know, just something very obvious to the conspiracy type people, you know what I mean? But um, as he said it to his audience, because he was doing one of those audience uh, shows, whatever, everyone knew exactly what he was talking about. And it was, again, every single day, you know, we we're just becoming more and more enlightened. You know, people are believing less and less, you know, um, the mainstream, uh, you know, talking points and the brainwashing that we have been, you know, that, that the government and society has been shoveling down our throat. We are believing that less and less each day. We are becoming more more skeptical. We are questioning everything. We only want the truth. Even when we think we have the truth, we still, that we're not satisfied and so on and so forth. So, you know, it gets to the point where you as an American citizen, you know, as you go deeper down this rabbit hole, you realize that, holy shit, I don't want to be in this country anymore because any moment, it's, it can not only can it end, but it, I mean, I, again, it can end for, for me personally or you personally or whatever. And so, you know, th that's when eventually you start making that conscious decision to get the fuck out of there. And again, this can go for any country out there. I'm just talking to, you know, other Americans because I'm an American and I was going through this. But, you know, this can go for any country out there. Again, this can be if you're North Korean, if you're Cuban, if you're it doesn't matter. You know, I think a lot of countries out there no matter where you are, um, you know, you're going through some, um, um, a version of this. If you're not going through a version of this, those are the people that don't ever want to leave their town or their country or their area because they're not going through any of this and everything is, you know, pretty much hunky-dory. But a good majority of the world right now is going through a version of this. And so you might go to China and uh, a lot of the Chinese people might be totally okay with that government and style of government and the, the way that they're going with the social score and all this shit, but there's a lot of them that are not and they're leaving or finding ways to get out or finding ways to battle the system from within as you're seeing in the US, as you're seeing in other parts of the world. And um, again, guys, you know, the reason, the, the main reason why I left my country is because I did not want to continue spinning on that, uh, on that wheel, you know, on that rat race wheel. I didn't want to be the hamster locked in a cage, you know, just, you know, always scurrying, you know, uh, on that wheel that goes to nowhere because that's literally the life of a typical American or the life of a typical human out there. By the way, I sincerely apologize for the wind. I really, I really did not think this out when I came out here today. Um, hoping it's not too windy, but eh, oh well, too late for that now. But 
Guys, you know, the main reason why I came out here was for freedom, you know, more than anything else. And I, I know I've made many videos about this, talking about this uh, same exact subject in very different ways, but it was basically freedom. Now, I'm, it's not to say that out here it's perfect, because it's not, you know what I mean? Really, I mean, I'm, I'm starting my series talking about, you know, other, you know, I'm starting um, my new video series, you know, about the ugly side or the real side or, or the, you know, the other things that happen out here in Medida because it was brought to my attention by not just you guys, but my girlfriend and others, especially the locals that, hey, all I do is talk about positive stuff out here and I don't talk about the negative stuff. So, um, you know, as I'm hanging out with my girlfriend all the time and other friends, you know, that I've been making out here, local friends, um, not not other expat friends but people that live out here you know i'm realizing that you know it's, it's, it's even though it's not as bad as other places around the world there are really bad things that go on around here too and um it's 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 you know like people let certain things happen because they're brainwashed into thinking that it's okay and uh, other things you know um people you know they go out and protest for and so on and so forth but you know one of the things about out here in merida mexico that i you know that is not so um, awesome is the fact that everyone here is very complacent. Everyone out here is very soft, I guess, you know, from for lack of a better definition. And they just roll over, you know, and um, that's what's happening with America right now for a good majority of the population where before, you know, we as proud Americans would never like just roll over. And so, you know, by us just rolling over, that's what allows a lot of this insanity to happen all the time. Again, I was watching earlier today um, a video on uh, the Vice News published a video early this morning and I, I watched it and it was literally a story talking about pedophilia and, uh, and they were literally just making it okay and um, just doing a whole story on allowing that to be okay look I, I don't I don't care what side of the aisle you're on I don't think anyone out there thinks that's okay but if we allow you know ourselves to continue getting brainwashed within a few years it's gonna be okay and, and you get what I'm saying so that's where we have you know led ourselves to be so you know right now um, I know that I just like everyone out there you know we all are implicit and we all did our part in the whole brainwashing and and just becoming part of this uh this organism that is completely brainwashed right now and um you know i, I myself am now trying to break from that and, and trying to do the opposite to help i mean not the opposite and trying to do um you know the helping others out there like you guys to help break free from these chains and this uh this insane you know situation that we're all in right now but you know the reality again just to come keep coming back full circle why i left the u.s more than anything else is because i, I couldn't live there anymore i couldn't live there anymore and it was I w it wasn't apparent until i left the u.s and I literally started living out here and I started talking to other people um, that were not US citizens living in the US, I started to realize like, holy shit, are we brainwashed? Holy shit, is the whole fucking thing fucked up? No no wonder, you know, it's, it's, it's um, everything is an uphill battle. No wonder, no matter what decision or thing that you do, it's it's um, it's beyond crazily insane and intimidating and and very 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 difficult to traverse uh, these waters because everyone is brainwashed and uh, and in some form or another and um, and again that's why I always talk about relationships in a sense is like you know right now every U.S. citizen is in a relationship with their country you know just like any other relationship and so right now it's a toxic relationship and so you know some people out there like myself have you know found the, the strength and the courage to break away from that relationship and uh, remove myself from her and uh, now I'm here with somebody else you know I'm talking about countries here I'm with some other somebody else and now I'm realizing a like, holy shit sure this new partner country whatever <laughs> is not perfect but wow she's ten times better than the country I was just in. And it makes me sad and, and and it makes me it breaks my heart and it makes me, you know, all these other emotions, you know, uh, go through me at the same time. But it's like at the same, at, 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 while I'm going through all that, at the same time, I'm really, really happy and glad that I did break away from that. Um, I still love her, still my country, America. But at the end of the day, I, I know where this is going. I mean, you know, how many times in history, how many countries do we got to watch, you know, f 
follow this same exact blueprint and pattern for us to realize that the same thing is going to happen to the U.S. Unless we change things. And that's the thing. And so right now, the way I was looking at the U.S. is like, you know, if, if I continue living in the U.S., I'm either going to be living in a box, whether it's literally a cardboard box on the side of the street or a box in a prison cell or a cubicle box or a room the size of a box with a bunch of other people. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be boxed in. I'm not going to be able to really do what I love because, again, nowadays, um, I can't do this stuff and speak my mind for reals and have a regular job because I'll get fired. I can't even apply for fucking uh, and, and life insurance if I wanted to because they look at my social media and, and so on and so forth. So it's like every single day, you know, not only are we living through fascism and then the whole thing is a fascist environment, but you know, we're only a few steps away from full-blown communism. And so these are the things that like, you know, as I look at all this stuff, you know, my parents were both Cuban, leaving, you know, Cuba. I've heard all the horror stories from them and my other family members as to how it all happened. How, you know, the, 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 you know some that left early, some that stayed during Castro, some that left afterwards, you know, um, plenty of family members that were on both sides, you know, poor and had money while um, Fidel took over. And just like the whole thing, and it's like, you know, look, man, I'm sorry about the wind, really windy. At least it's nice and, uh, you know, uh, not so hot as it usually is out here. But, you know, the point is, is like, I, I you know, fortunately and unfortunately, you know what I mean? I have, you know, this uh, historical base, you know, to learn from. And, 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 and you know, learn, and, you know my, my parents and my family members, you know, have gone through this stuff before and um, it's very, very close to my heart. So that's why, you know, when the shit really started hitting the fan, at least for me personally, I was, I, you know, I, I made the decision to get the fuck out of Dodge before it was too late. And, you know, for a lot of my family members out there that are still in Dodge, it's because, you know, they've already tied themselves so down to the system. Like a lot of you guys have that. They don't really have an, a way out. And, and so that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like um, society always finds a way, you know, these governments and these uh, institutions always find a way to keep everyone tied down. Same thing is happening out here in Mexico and happening all over the world. So the reason I left my brainwashed country was because I wanted to be free. All right, literally, like Leonard Skinner says, free bird, literally, that's all I wanted, you know, just to be free. And, um, I have never ever felt freer in my entire life until I actually left that country. The United States of America, the land of the free, is actually one of the most um, unfree lands in the world. And I did not even know that or realize that until I left. And sure, I've been here for a while, and I'm probably gonna be here for a while longer, but I'm still gonna be traveling. I wanna see more. All, all this experience has really done for me is made me hungrier. Hungrier for knowledge, hungrier for travel, hungrier to live life, hungrier, you know, because now when I, in retrospect, as I sit here, you know, with my horse, making these videos, doing all the things that I get to do, um, and I have absolutely no boss, it's just me, myself, and I, um, no matter what it is I want to do, um, I, I, I've realized, you know, all the years, all the time that I wasted participating within the system. And all for what? For absolutely nothing. Because again, how many individuals out there we know that have fat bank accounts with millions of dollars or whatever the fuck it is, and guess what's happening with them? The same exact thing. If they miss one day of work, if they say the wrong thing, um, whatever it is, uh, you know, you want to, you know, bring up here, at the end of the day, um, you know, everything could be lost just like that. I got plenty, I don't want to mention any names, but I know plenty of people with plenty of uh, power, money, influence, and everything. But if they misbehave, if they say the wrong thing, if they, you know what I mean, don't agree with the right party, if, with the right brainwashing, well, then guess what? They lose it all. I mean, what makes you think, I mean, what made, what, what do you think happened to fucking me, huh? I mean, if you really go back and look at my videos from three, four years ago, five years ago, whatever, you know, um, when I first started getting on YouTube and you're looking at me now, you're like, well, what happened to your money? What happened to you? What happened to everything? Exactly. The system got me. All right. And why did the system get me? Well, because again, I refuse to comply. And what does it mean to refuse to comply? Well, I refuse to be, you know, um, held prisoner 
by the system any longer. And um, again, guys, you know, it, it went well for me for a little while until it did it. And um, if you really want to know more about that story, I suggest you just look at my older videos. And uh, I, I, again, I've documented pretty much the whole fucking thing. If you guys want to know more, let me know, and I'll I'll, I'll retell my story. I'll re make more videos on all that stuff. I, I would love to, you know, to to retell the story and, and let you guys know. Um, I just don't because again, uh, I don't want to keep making the same. I don't want to repeat videos, um, even though sometimes I do, and it's necessary for a lot of you new subscribers out there. Um, but you know, the reality is, is that you know, I just left because I, I you know, I I got in a situation with the. Uh, with the North Texas Police Department, you know, again, I was uh, kidnapped, I was extorted, I was uh, run through the ringer, um, my freedom, you know, uh, on a national level was uh, put into in, into question. Um, you know, again, why I left out here is because I didn't trust, you know, the judicial system in my country any, anymore after wasting all of my uh, all of my money, all of my resources in order to become free and still it wasn't enough and it wasn't until I left the fucking country and I started fighting it from the other end of the pond, you know, from the other end of the border and all of a sudden, well, you know, I was able to resolve everything because they couldn't get me anymore and all they really wanted was just fucking money and they were just using my life, okay, and uh, as, uh, as something that they were dangling in front of me as something that I, I obviously wanted and valued and so therefore they were like, well, you know, we're going to keep extorting you for money and extorting you um, out of your freedom because we know that we can just come get you and make you disappear forever. But the minute that I made myself not available for that, well, then guess what? They didn't have a much of a motherfucking choice. Now, I had to continue um, the charade um, of going through the judicial system until, you know, the case was finally dismissed. Even though they admitted fault and they admitted all the wrongdoing, I still, you know, ended up getting, getting, getting fucked in the ass without any Vaseline. You know, so it's like, what kind of free country are we living in? We're not. And again, I, I still fear for my life every time I have to go back to the U.S. That's why I like to, you know, travel around the world. I, I, don't, I don't feel safe going back to my own country anymore. I mean, nobody feels safe. So what makes you think I feel safe? And it's just insane. And then that's another thing too, for all of you guys out there that, you know, are bootlickers, for all of you guys out there that, you know, love the government and don't think that anything is going wrong. Okay, okay. That's how you're gonna be thinking until the minute that something actually does happen to you. And you realize that you actually have absolutely zero recourse, absolutely zero nothing. Resources, there's no laws on your side. There's absolutely nothing that you can do except take it in the ass with no Vaseline, all right? And, and then once you go through all that, that's when you start to wake up. Because even though I was woke as fuck, it wasn't until the system got me that I realized like, oh shit. You know what I mean? And, and that's it. And that's basically it. You know, eventually the system, you know, grinded me so, you know, hard into the ground and made me dust that I had two choices. Either get blown away in the wind, pun intended, or, well, actually, that's exactly what it is. You know, get blown away into the wind and, uh, you know, disappear off the face of the earth or have control of to where, you know, I get blown away. And, you know, that's why I flew over here. I know, horrible metaphor and analogy. But... I hope you guys get it. You know, at the end of the day, it was um, every time that I watch a video now on uh, on YouTube or Instagram or whatever of police brutality, of um, you know the judicial system failing us, of you know how um, you know they 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 you know something like a, a pedophile is is allowed to walk freely after after traumatizing and ruining the lives of children, while somebody out there you know just walks. Uh, you know, just gets caught with like, you know, like this much, right? This much weed in a little bag and they're gone forever and so on. And so, and so it's like, you know, it's just one thing after another. We see these atrocities happening all the time. We see grandmas getting pulled out of their cars and beat and, and arrested for, for nothing. You know, we see, um, you know, the, the, the unfairness that is the whole system, you know, whether, you know, again, if you are a good citizen, you pay your taxes, you have a business, you do all this shit, you actually get fucked in the ass you get you get raped and then if you actually don't pay your taxes if you actually do things the wrong way which again the laws 
are put there so that it is the right way. I know, it's a story for another day. But anyways, by you doing the wrong thing, you know, the laws and the government and, and the state actually um, um, rewards you for that stuff. And, 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 and again, you know, you over here as a proper business owner, as a doing the things the right way, paying your taxes, whatever, you get every single day, you get shafted more. Every single day, the government takes more advantage of you. And again, coming up, to a USA say near you, to a Europe near you, you're gonna be paying more for everything. Hyperinflation is coming. Um, every single time that you get a, um, a tube of toothpaste that comes with less toothpaste, every time that you buy a bag of Yeah, sorry about that, the thing uh, stopped recording. But, you know, again, as every day that passes, you know, um, you know, hyperinflation is coming, your money is worth less and less every day. Literally, right now, as, as of today, money that you keep into the bank account actually loses you money even though the interest rates are low and you get a tiny tiny bit like out of every i think out of a hundred thousand dollars in the bank you get back 125 dollars or some shit like that um which is nothing 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 at all um what the reality is is that really because of inflation that is never ever um counted or ever you know put into this uh, equation you know really for you know for any money that you keep into the bank you're actually losing money at the end of the year so imagine as the rates get lower okay as we start getting into negative interest rates where again they not only are they going to be charging you to keep your money in the fucking bank account but they're going to be charging you even more for every single transaction that you make again right now even most most of you guys out there no matter what your income level is unless your income level is all the way up here which you're probably not watching this video anyway to begin with you know most of the you know most of the time you know the bank is the one that you know tells you how you can spend your money if you want to spend uh, you know anything over three grand or what have you you got to get it approved by the bank if you spend anything over ten thousand dollars any kind of transaction over ten thousand dollars the irs and the government is is and now has their eyes set on you you know that's why you see a lot of people making nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollar transactions you know to avoid these things and um you know if you go to the bank you know you, your card gets the i mean no, no, if you go to the bank if you go and make a purchase a lot of times your your bank is the de de declined and then it's you know they tell you it's for your own safety and you know it's all of this shit you know it's, it's just beyond insane and so again this is why i talk about a lot of the things that i talk about because i'm, I'm just providing or uh, tools for you guys so that you guys can empower yourselves in whatever form you know you see best some of you guys want to leave the country some of you guys want financial freedom some of you guys want both some of you guys want you know um you know just more education and all this stuff again i'm just trying to provide as much as i can for you guys so that you guys also you know again ha don't feel um you know so intimidated by all this so you guys don't feel you know like all is lost because no it's not lost okay it's only lost for those that don't know what the fuck is going on but if you actually do know what the fuck is going on then you have plenty of options out there whether you stay in the u.s or not whether you choose to travel it doesn't matter you know there's a lot of fucking things that we all can individually do you know in my case i had to leave the country you know you right now might be sitting on a, on, a, on a fat stack you know of whether it's stocks or, or savings or property or whatever you might have a family you might have a lot of things and you can't leave the u.s and really there's probably no reason for you to leave the u.s and and i get that you know seriously is you know um but still, you know what I mean? You want to make sure that you don't go down with the ship. You want to make sure that you are able to breathe and stay you know, afloat while all this insanity um, happens. Because that's the thing, you know, um, this whole system all around the world is going to fucking tumble and fall, and fall. And so, you know, all I'm doing, you know, by moving out here, by doing all the things that I'm doing, I'm just preparing myself so when the shit hits the fan, I'll be fine. I got my life jacket. Do you have your life jacket? Exactly. So... This, that's basically what this video should be all about. It's, it's, um, I know why, why, you know, how I started it, which was like why I left the country, but I think that that question is very self-explanatory, that you guys understand why, and if you don't, you guys can have a major idea why, and I think after today's conversation, you guys can really understand why, and again, if you don't, I got plenty of videos talking about it, and if, and if you guys more have more questions, please feel free to ask, and I'll be, I'm an open book, I'll be more than happy to ask, I answer anything, but again, guys, when it all comes down to it, it was just freedom, freedom, okay, and uh, me being a U.S. citizen, I did not feel safe in my own country anymore, period, end of story, and that's why I left.
Now, I'm proud to be an American citizen. I'm glad I got my passport. I'm glad I'm, I'm able to, I am a US citizen and I'm able to, to do all the things that I do uh, around the world. But guys, you know, don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? I, I, I want to I wanna live in a world in which my own country is safe to live in, in which my own country is actually a free country. And um, what our founding fathers, you know, um, you know, founded our country on, you know, uh, basically, I mean, that's what I want. And um, I see us so far away removed from that right now that that's why I, I choose to not participate in that system anymore. And I choose to do, you know, what I'm doing right now with my life. And that's why, again, I, I make these videos to encourage you guys in case you guys also want to do something similar in one shape, form, or another. All right, guys. Today was a very long-winded episode, um, but I just wanted to get off, get off, get off a lot of these things off my chest, and I'm glad I did. And I hope it was a really good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope the lighting and the the sound was okay. I'm not quite sure if it is. I guess we'll find out when I'm editing this thing. But regardless, guys, I just want to give a big shout out to all you guys out there that have made it all the way through to this, you know, all the way through this episode and all the way through all of my episodes. Uh, seriously, shout out to all my patrons. Shout out to all of you guys out there that are always, you know, giving me love, you know, other, you know, sponsorships, donations, help. Um, whether it's buying t-shirts, you know, whether it's supporting the channel, um, you know, through sharing this knowledge, through sharing my videos, through, um, you know, giving me a thumbs up, leaving a comment, every single little thing you can do to help helps. Even if you just watch a commercial, an ad, before you watch my video, that helps immensely, a lot. <clears throat> it's not necessarily like the few cents here and there I get from that, but it, again, it just really helps the algorithm. Every single thing you guys can do, you know, thumbs ups, comments, it doesn't matter what kind of comment, it doesn't really matter even if you leave a thumbs down. It really all helps a lot. And, um, and I just wanna give a shout out to all of you guys that are always trying to help me out in any way, shape, or form. It's, it's I mean, again, I, I have, I'm always speechless at this point in the episode because I don't even know what to say except turn on the camera and just say whatever the fuck is on my mind. That's the best way I can express my thanks and my love for all of you guys. All right, so, all right, that's it. Guys, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, please stay awesome, please enjoy your day, enjoy life, and uh, really start considering more what the fuck is going on and uh, whether it's time for you to start really getting a game plan together and stop contemplating what the fuck you're gonna do and just start doing it. All right guys, and, and again, my door is always open for any kind of questions or any kind of anything about anything, all right? Please, don't be shy, all right? I'm here for you guys, all right? Just like you guys are here for me. We love you. I'm talking about me and Lambo. We fucking love you to death. And um, that's it, guys, really. Just enjoy the rest of your, sing of your day. I'm out. Peace. Thanks again. Laters. Time to make some lemonade. <laughs>